Hi, welcome to another edition of 7 Spin Bolarama. Um, I have lots of paint. Lots of white paint today. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> well, uh, if you're like me, and uh, I know I am, you have a lightning back glass or a flash back glass that at first glance looks fine, but then you turn on the machine and light comes through it and you can see the light bulbs uh, through the glass where the kind of the white paint has flaked off. Um, and boy, it would be nice if we could just have a nice even white covering uh, on the glass and we can't see the bulbs anymore. So a friend of mine, my friend Don, he does pinball repair and stuff for a living. And he had, he told me about a time that he had a flashback glass that same as this one where, you know, it pretty much looks okay. But if you were to be able to put the white back on there, it would look tons better. And he said that he wasn't happy with white paints. They didn't, they didn't work well enough, but he found that that primer, a white primer worked really well, but he couldn't remember which one, which brand. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? What a great idea to do a video on. We'll, we'll give him a shot um, and we'll, we'll sort of see how it works. And, and we'll spray it on. I have, I have more of these handy dandy uh, dollar store document uh, frames that come with just a little sheet of glass, like a buck or something at a dollar store. Um, I'm going to mask this off and then we'll spray all these different cans of paint and we'll see which one emulates this the best, which one gives us nice smooth coverage with the best color uh, um, and kind of go from there. So he couldn't remember which brand it was, so I bought, I bought Krylon, which uh, I bought the, the primer and their white paint. Uh, Armor Coat, same thing, primer and white paint. Rust-Oleum, same thing. And then this is this is a flat white paint from, I think it's just the Canadian Tire brand. Um, and then this is Bullseye123 Primer. I don't think this is gonna be good for this application. This goes on quite heavy and thick. It's, it's good for other projects but maybe not for spraying back glasses. But I figured, you know, I'm doing the test. I might as well include it. I might be present, pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna mask this off and then I'll, I'll spray them down and I'll mark down which is which. And we'll come back and we'll kind of see what the results are. And if I'm happy enough with one of them, then I'm gonna touch up. I have a little places here where it could use a little bit of black. I'm gonna touch that up with black first. And then I'll mask off these little windows. We'll spray it down with the winner. And uh, I'll do a before and after of this so we can kind of see what the results are. And if it, if it looks good, then I'm gonna go and dig that flash out of storage into its glass because it needs it too. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, my glass is sprayed. I have it on my uh, my X-ray light box because everybody has one of these, right? You do at-home tooth extractions and you get your old uh, 1950s era surplus army X-ray machine that you keep in your basement and you drag that up and you, you know, you do that, right? I mean, and you need something to look at your X-rays on. I'm not crazy. <laughs> everybody does this. Okay, <laughs> enough goofing around. <laughs> All right, so here's my Canadian Tire white paint, Rust-Oleum primer, Rust-Oleum white, Armor Coat primer, Armor Coat white, Krylon primer, Krylon white, and my Bullseye 123. Bullseye 123 goes on too thick for this application. Um, the uh, Rust-Oleum primer and Rust-Oleum white they're a little blotchy. I, I don't think that those are very, uh, very good either. 
Canadian uh, Krylon primer and Krylon white they're okay but they are they didn't it's not super even Armacote white no good I'm leaning towards using Canadian tire white or rust-oleum white or I'm sorry armor coat primer um, they they both look about the same especially right in the middle here where my armor coat primer didn't get any overspray uh, so I'm, I'm down to those two decisions. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to touch up my lightning back glass where I need to put the, the black in. And then I'm going to mask it off. I'm going to get it all ready to go. And uh, I'm going to let this really dry. And then I'm going to see which one adheres to the glass the best. Uh, so I'll scratch at it and kind of bang it around a little bit. Uh, once I'm done with all of this, I'm, I'm probably going to go ahead and cover it with a Krylon Triple Thick. But I still want one that adheres the best anyway, because it's it's still it's holding on to the glass below the Krylon, right? So that's what I'm going to base my decision on. Um, but I'm I'm probably leaning towards a Canadian Tire White. I think that that one gave me the best results. But we'll see what the scratching does on it. So uh, let's touch up our lightning glass and go from there. Okie dokie, artichokey. So I've done um, my little scratch test. And with the Canadian Tire White or the uh, uh, Armor Coat Primer, if you scratch too hard, it came off. If you didn't scratch very hard, it stayed on. So they're pretty much the same. Um, personally, myself, I'm for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use the Canadian Tire White. Uh, just because I kind of like it a little bit better. Um, so uh, for you Americans and Europeans and Australians, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless they have like, you know, Australian tire or Brazil tire. I don't know if they do, but maybe you could look. Um, maybe you can get the armor coat primer. And uh, if you're going to attempt this nonsense, then uh, that would probably work for you just as well. So, um, okay. So now uh, I have my old crap board, my old crap board for my... Uh, for the mistakes that I'm making as I'm toying around with this retheme on uh, Black Knight, and uh, I would I need a new board that's like a holy crap! Oh, I've just screwed the pooch board. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll make one of those, like just like a bleep, damn it board. Um, my my plan was to. Um, you know, figure out what paint I wanted to use and then just kind of spray it on and everybody's happy and and uh, put it in the machine and we play and we're fun. Um, but as it turns out, there's some yellow on this from like nicotine and just who knows what else. Um, you can kind of see how yellow it is here. So stupid me, I thought, um, why don't I try to get some of the yellow off of there? Wasn't even thinking, I took some uh, Windex and I went and sprayed it on there and I took paper towel and I went do 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 cleaning it up and it actually worked fine in a couple areas and then this happened. Doing well, I just pulled the paint off, right? So that was stupid. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I did a bunch of like, you know, aw crap moment type swearing and, and kind of, you know, like hitting my head on the wall like I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just, I wasn't even thinking. Um, I let, I, I patted it dry. Uh, I let it air dry and it, it did take out a little bit more. Mostly it was the whites. So I'm lucky because, you know, spraying white, but it took out some black area. It took out uh, a few bits and bobs here and there. So, uh, I took it outside and sprayed it with Krylon triple thick. And from now on, uh, I've, I've messed with a, a handful of different glasses before. From now on, my rule of thumb is I'm not even going to try and clean them. That's if there's any amount of flaking or cracking or any of that other business, I'm just not even going to touch them until I put Krylon on it because it, it just locks it down. And you know, now I can, I can eat off of it if I wanted to, and it's fine. It's not going to wreck it. Um, but before it, uh, they just, they get, I think the ink or the paint or whatever is on here. It just gets too uh, brittle, and um, you know you have, you stand more of a chance to damage it. So I'm just gonna cry on them from now on before I try to do anything. Okay, so uh, 
since I made a little bit more damage on it, some of it was in the black, which was fine. I, I had bought these um, paint pens for testing and some other odds and ends. And I found out on another glass that this is a Craft Smart paint pen, black. It's super opaque, light doesn't go through it. And I used it on another one where I had a little section that was supposed to be black and it, so it had scratched and I bloop with this and cleaned it up and it looks fantastic. So that was easy to touch up the, the black on that. I have tried to um, use acrylics to mix up paint colors for glass. But when you put a light, you can, you can match the color, you know, you paint it on, you look at the front side and it looks perfectly fine. Then you put light through, through it and it totally changes hue. So there's some trick I am not getting with um, painting back glasses. Um, maybe it, it, it's, it's got to be like the type of paint or something, but it's, there's definitely a trick to it. And I have no clue what that trick is at this point. But... I thought I would try this yellow to fix the yellow that was missing, and I was in luck. It, from the front, this, there was a big section here missing, and from the, like without light behind it, you'd never know. It, it pretty much is, is close to identical. Um, with light behind it, it's just a touch darker, but the, the hue and the, the, the tone is more or less right. I don't think that you would notice it unless uh, you were looking for it. And considering that this glass was kind of thrashed to begin with, and then I thrashed it even more, I'm gonna be okay with that. I mean, this this technique, this this uh, spraying the white thing, it you know, it's not something you're gonna to want to do on something that's near perfect. It's you're taking something that's like kind of ugly to begin with and trying to breathe more life into it. So, um, you know, paint pens to kind of clean up stuff. I'm okay with that. I did think about. This is kind of bleached out. The lightning is supposed to be red. It's a little bleached out. And uh, I did think about, you know, maybe trying to put some red on it. But I have this top bar up here and it comes down to about here. And I'm worried about taking this bar off because I can see right here where all the paint has separated. It's separated here. Uh, it's separated a little bit in sections. So I think if I take this bar off, I'm going to just damage a lot up here. So. Since I can't paint that, I'm not gonna paint the rest of it. I'm just gonna leave it. And maybe I'll toy around with, um, someone had, had cut out like um, lighting gels and they had cut it out to whatever it is they wanted to match and they put it behind it. I might play around with that just for the fun of it. Uh, but for now, um, I'm ready to paint white. <laughs> it's been a while. So um, I'm still masked off and um, I have this box. There's a blue light in there. And let me show you what, uh, what I'm working with right now. So I took this video with uh, a super low exposure so you can see the, really see the blue where it's leaking through the paint. So that's, that's my, my point right now where I'm at. Um, so let's, I'm gonna carefully spray on some white and I'm gonna put on the bare minimum amount. Uh, I don't wanna see any blue light through this, but I don't wanna cake it on. Um, so let's try it and see what happens. This, I might need my super board, my super odd damn it board. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Thank you. 
that that's it so not a lot I was just sort of trying to be really careful um, let's see what it looks like from the front not too bad I guess I guess we won't really know until uh, until it dries and we can kind of take a look but um, I'm feeling pretty positive, at least right now. So as long as I don't drop it. <laughs> Add an X on the board. All right, so let's let, let that dry and then we'll come back and take a look. Okay, uh, we're dry. So uh, without light behind it, the one thing that sticks out is this. Um, this is that cracking that I can't get to because of the bar. And uh there's a little bit up in here but this part this cracky part thing here it's you know there's nothing i can do about it uh there's a little bit here that i maybe could have touched up but so i think without light behind it it looks fine <laughs> so let's put light behind it and see how it looks um on my on my makeshift light box um i took the blue light out and i put a uh just a regular compact fluorescence in with the blue you could really tell the difference between the two colors but with the white i think it looks fine um the original paint is a little yet more yellow than what i've just sprayed um that's i don't know if that's from the stern factory if it was a little bit more yellow or if it's just because it's got years of smokers long <laughs> and all that nicotine on the back of it uh made it a little bit more yellow but um Overall, it I think it's acceptable, and it's it's an acceptable um, uh, kind of a uh, tune-up, you know, a little for a glass that kind of looked like ass before we started. Um, I think it looks fine. I think it'll look fine in the machine. The few places, this yellow part up here where I I had to kind of touch up, and some of the other little yellow bits, you you can't even really tell um, with the light behind it. I did notice that this section here, this may have been the area that I lifted off with the paper towel. Um, maybe not, I don't know. I have to go back and watch the video. But uh, it looks, with the light behind it, this kind of stands out that it's kind of missing something. So I'm gonna go back over it with uh, uh, either the paint pens or just um, with a brush. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, little dabs of dots here and there, just kind of smooth it out. Um, and then there's another little section here and there's one other area I noticed. But other than that, um, I think it looks fine. Um, the other thing I'm going to do uh, before I call this one finished is I'm going to take another piece of glass. Uh, I'm going to spray Krylon Triple Thick down. I'm going to spray this white paint, uh, that I, the, the Canadian Tire White. I'm going to spray that down. Once that all dries, I'm going to hit it with one more coat of Krylon on the top. I want to make sure that I don't get a reaction. I don't think I will, but I'm just going to verify that I don't. Um, doesn't hurt to test, right? So, um, so then once I'm done doing the little dots and I'm more or less happy with it, I'm just going to give it another kind of a final light coat of Krylon just to sort of lock it all down and just protect it a little bit more. It won't hurt it as long as my test comes out okay. <laughs> I don't know who knows what will happen i'm not going to put that in the video um uh i'll when i finally do that maybe i'll update the uh the description and uh just say what the what the results of that are but it's fine as it is without it so if you're going to do this um you you're probably okay just spraying the krylon on it spray the white call it a day 
Uh, I'm definitely doing this to my flash machine. Uh, my flashback glass is, was kind of not quite as bad as uh, the damage I did to this one. <laughs> it was sort of in between how it was originally and, and what I did to it. It's, it's missing some big chunks here and there, but it's mostly the white stuff. So uh, I, th I think this will fix it up just fine. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with these re results. Um, took something that was kind of butt ugly and made it not so butt ugly, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess that's, uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, so if you, if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, subscribe. Leave some comments. Don't leave some comments. Put a banana on your head. I don't know. <laughs> go, go to my website, uh, pinballarama.com. I'm trying to update it and be a little bit more uh, uh, vigil and, you know, putting more pictures and stuff up. So maybe if I get more traffic, it'll inspire me. I don't know. Maybe it won't. I'm just fooling myself. I'm not going to do anything. Or am I? I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. I better leave. Thanks for watching. Okay, ending bit, take two. Whoa. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.